guys, welcome back. So I'm starting out with primer. I'm using the Tarte Clean Slate Brightening Primer and I'm just applying that all over my skin and then I'm going in with the Tarte Radiance of the Sea Drops, I think they're called, and I'm just dripping some of those onto my cheeks and my forehead and rubbing that all into my skin. It just gives you like a nice moisturized luminous base. Then I'm going in with an all-time favorite foundation which is the Kat Von D Locket foundation. This is amazing. I like look at the full coverage of this. I can never get over it. Every time I apply it I'm like whoa I applied too much but I'm using a round top kabuki just to buff this into my skin and give me a super duper full coverage. Then to give my face some structure and colour I'm using the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick and I'm just applying that to my cheekbones, my forehead, my temples, underneath my jawbone and under my lip and down my nose which I stuffed up as you can see and then I'm using my 3D HD Max Kabuki to blend this all out. I love this brush for blending out my cream contour. It just makes it look super airbrushed but still gives you the color payoff you want. Then to prime my eyes, I'm using Tarte, uh, what is this called? Shape Tape. And I'm just applying it to my eyes. I actually only use the shade Light Sand but when I concealed and sort of used this, I used both shades. That's why I showed both shades. Oh, that was a long, pointless story. Then I'm going in with the whitish shade from the palette and I'm just setting down my eyelids with a large fluff brush from Sigma. And then I'm going in to the shade below which is a really nice transitional shade and I'm starting to build this up into the crease. This shade did take quite a bit of blending because as you can see it's pretty pale and I don't know, it just took a while to get up. A good color payoff so I did have to really build it up but yeah then I'm taking the shade new era which is more of a deep brown kind of shade but it's still not that dark I found that this palette is beautiful but the only problem is the colors really don't go that deep so you have to seriously do some building so I did the same thing and just really tried to build up that color with my E40 brush then I took the bottom shade called Ever. The, this side is all matte shades by the way, so these are all matte. And I'm taking an E25 blending brush from Sigma and I'm just buffing this into the outer V and then bringing the rest into the crease. Then I just took the E40 brush I used previously and made sure that those shades were blended together nicely. And then I just went back in with Eva and tried to build up the shade a little bit more in the outer corner. Then I'm taking some Fix Plus on a shading brush and I'm using the shade Waiting, which is like a burgundy kind of brownie shade. And I'm just packing this onto the lid. Um, I would definitely recommend using Fix Plus because it just makes it so much more intense. Um, so once I had applied that, I did take my finger and apply a little bit more just because I feel like that really helps to build up the color, but yeah, you don't need to do that. And I just blended out those edges with my E25 brush once again. Then here is where I just took my finger with some more of that burgundy shade and applied it. And then I'm going in with a black coal pencil from the brand Rimmel and I am tight lining. And then I went ahead and applied this into my upper lash line, just like kind of messily. Um, applied it all up in there and then I took a I think this is an E75 or 65 but it will be listed on the screen currently um, but I just basically smudged that out and sort of yeah smoked it out a bit then I took the top shade which is called yet to come and I used my little tiny fan brush that is the perfect shape for the brow bone and I just highlighted the brow bone then I just curled my lashes and applied some Their Real Mascara from Benefit and the eyelashes I used are the Klepke Lashes in the style Mykonos. And I always like to use their little lash tool just to squeeze my lashes with the false lashes. Then moving back onto the face, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Sand and Fair Neutral. So I'm applying Light Sand first, which is the darker of the two. 
and I'm just taking that a bit under my eyes and then all in the areas where I felt I needed it and then I just dotted a couple more dots of fair neutral underneath the eyes which ugh, I honestly did not need this much concealer I don't know what I was doing this day I just freaking packed on the makeup but I am blending it all out using this little contour brush which is the perfect concealer brush I absolutely adore it for that and yeah it kind of whitened up my face so I had to put the bronziness back in with bronzer. Then to set my face all down I use the RCMA No Colour Powder on an F35 tapered highlighter brush. I love this brush for getting right underneath the eyes, it's like the perfect shape so I just pressed that into my skin where I had applied all of my concealer. Then I took this little strobing stick from Maybelline which I absolutely hated. I should not have applied it like that so I pretty much swiped it on the areas where I wanted it and it just did not work out. I tried to blend it out with my highlighter brush and then I tried it with my pointed kabuki brush from Sigma. Just nothing was working, it was taking off my foundation so I used my concealer brush and tried to sort of go over where I had applied it. Ugh, it was just not a good product. Not a winner. Then I used the Pure Cosmetics um, Glow Together Bronzer, I think it's called, but it will be listed down below. And I first used the matte side and just used an F40 brush to buff this into my skin, like around my hairline and underneath my cheekbones and all of that, those areas. Um, and then I went ahead and took the shimmery shade afterwards and just took it a little bit over the tops of my cheekbones kind of thing like kind of above where I applied the contour and then I took a little bit of the matte shade down the sides of my nose as well then I took another Zoeva product and I used the blush from this little palette and just applied it to the apples of my cheeks and blended it backwards and then to highlight I used an oldie but a goodie I used the Mary Luminizer from The Balm and I hadn't used this in so long and it looked seriously so gorgeous like I forgot how nice of a highlight it was so I applied it to all of the high points of my face and all of the normal areas where I always highlight moving back onto the lower lash line I took the darker brown shade and I just buffed that underneath my lower lash line with an E40 brush then I took the shade ending and I buffed that underneath the lower lash line again using an E25. Sorry, that shade is called Ever, not Ending. My mistake. Um, so yeah, just buffing that. And then I took my cold pencil and lined my waterline as well as like smudged it into my lash line. And then I just took an E20 brush and just made sure it was like super smoky on that bottom lash line because I wasn't getting the depth I wanted. Then I went back in with that burgundy shade on an E34 and just applied that a little bit into the lower lash line as well. Then I just applied some lower lash mascara to help finish up the eyes and then lastly I applied an inner corner highlight which I do have a different lip colour on because I tried this lip colour and I just didn't like it so yeah that's why I have that colour lip. Anyway, then I decided to take that off and use the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Roxy, which is like a grape colour. And yeah, it's a little bit streaky on the first application, so I sort of just let it dry and then I did another layer and it looked perfectly fine. Um, I feel like you get that with darker colours. And I just cleaned up the edges using some concealer on a concealer brush and that was it. It completed the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.